Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial from Photoshop Tutorials for Real. So let's get started. What I'm doing today in uh, CS3, you can also do in CS4, I'm pretty sure. Um, I was just screwing around and I figured out how to do this. Um, as you can see, iMac editing, it says that is my other channel. Okay, so we're going to be doing this effect today. So uh, let's get started. Um, you want to go to File, New, and you're going to get this 2000, width 2000, height 2000, and resolution 2000. They're all pixels. Pixels in, shape it. Okay, good. That's what we want. Now, like, here, I'm going to start with my colors white for you guys, okay? Show you how I'm doing this. Um, so how I did my effect, you go to your control panel. It's gonna have a paintbrush where I have my granite tool, right? And uh, you just click on the arrow to get the granite tool. Like it's gonna open up, and then you click on it. It's right there. I already have it opened for my tutorial. Now I'm gonna come down to here. And I'm going to click on my first one. I want purple today. And then for the top layer and the bottom one, I want pink. Okay. Click OK. Now up here, it's almost like you're customizing your own if you look at the other ones. Here. This is it. Okay. Um, that's what you want. Now, you are going to... Like, you can do something like this, just only, but that's what's going to come up. You can do something like this, whatever you want, right? It's going to switch, whatever you do. I like to do this. This is what I did for my um, picture when I did it, the one that I showed you. This is how it was, okay? Um, maybe a little bit higher. Um, yeah, the higher you go. The lighter it gets, basically, I figured. And then you're also going to want your symbol that you're doing. I'm doing the Mac symbol, right? The Apple symbol, actually. You're going to go into your control panel again. Click on the magic lasso tool, okay? Um, this is going to be by hand, this one, okay? Just so you know that. So I put that there. Okay, you're just gonna wanna go right around that there. It's how is you need a steady hand kind of. Um once you get to the here, kind of do a click sometimes, right? Because it always screws up. You don't know when it's gonna screw up. Go to your selection tool, drag it in there. Um, now I'm going to put the background layer, actually just leave it like that, um, because as you see in this one, it's kind of like that, really, so you want to go into your layer, and you just want to, like, play around with it, right, something like that, okay, 25 for the opacity, opacity or whatever, um, and uh, sorry about that. And you just want to do your other part of the apple symbol. Like, what I did for that thing right there was, you just want to line this up first, actually. Um, when I went into this, made it 25%. What you're doing here is you're just like, you're uh, making it transparent okay that doesn't look like the real apple symbol really so i'm gonna do it something like that that looks good now i'm gonna go to my text down here okay and i'm gonna put bring it right under here and you can do whatever text you want but i'm doing the uh thing that's wanted no, 
So here, um, stencil, stencil what I want. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, photo shop touch four. Now, as you notice, that's not the color I want. Um, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna make it a pinkish kind of thing, almost. It needs to be a different color though, okay? I'm doing something like this maybe. Um, let me see. If you go like this, it might be good. Yeah, that's what I'm just gonna do for this tutorial, okay? So there you have it. Do a little display picture you can have for YouTube, uh, you can have it for um, Facebook, Twitter, anything you want, right? So see you guys, bye. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Um, three tutorials a month, this is the third. So um, tune in next month to see the newest tutorials. Um, so yeah, see you guys, bye, and in my monitor and my comments box below this video and on my channel, tell me what tutorials you want and I'll give them to you if I know how to do it. Um, I will be upgrading to CS5 maybe soon, but not for sure.